Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, July 2nd, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. In diaries today, we got a quick tip from Didi for everybody who needs to analyze malicious office documents. The feature he's looking at today is how malware authors are able to hide malicious payloads in user forms. This is nothing really new, but Didier walks us through how to extract these payloads using his Ollie Dump tool. And to help you even further to deal with this particular common feature in malicious office documents, Didier also has a plugin, the StreamO plugin, that can be used to extract data from these user forms, like an example that he used a text box that contains a URL. Of course, the neat thing about OliDump and all these plugins is that this allows you to easily analyze these documents safely on the command line and even script and automate some of these analysis steps. And Motomaker Sykesel did release an update for its hotspot that include the free time feature. Free time Wi-Fi hotspots are free hotspots that you can set up. And the vulnerability being addressed here is first of all, a reflective cross-site scripting vulnerability. And secondly, and maybe even more interesting, something that uh, Sykesel calls a security misconfiguration vulnerability that would allow anybody to set up guest accounts. These guest accounts then of course could be used to use the free hotspot. These days uh, with all the various hardware attacks and abilities of processes to read each other's uh, memory, one feature that has come into focus in particular on systems that are used for virtualization is encrypted memory. And in this solution here is what they're calling SEV or secure encrypted virtualization. Well, AMD now patched a vulnerability in this important security feature. The Google Cloud security team found a way how an attacker could read the secret key from a system protected with AMD SEV. To implement the encryption, AMD used elliptic curves, which of course is a great modern standard to do it, but they didn't protect themselves from what's called an invalid curve attack. This vulnerability does affect the AMD EPIC processors. They're typically found in servers, and AMD has released a firmware update for affected CPUs. The affected firmware is version 0.17 build 11 and the fixed one is firmware 0.17 build 22. And security company Advanced Intelligence uh, published a blog post uh, with details regarding a technique that they are calling as cart enrollment services or just rolling. What this refers to is that attackers are trying to better take advantage of stolen payment card data by actually linking it to an online banking account. The way this typically works is that the attacker will first get access to the credit card details then they will try to get as much personal information of the owner as possible, in some cases using additional services that offer to provide this information. Once they have the information, they will then attempt to register an account at the bank that issued the card. This tends to be, of course, easier if the legitimate user hasn't actually signed up for an online account yet. So they will then use all the information they have about the user and attempt to sign up for an account, register the card that they have stolen with the account, which then of course gives them access to, for example, change shipping information and the like for this particular card. 
To make this service even more effective, companies providing it will use remote desktop sessions or SSH tunnels in order to do the initial registration and then hand these credentials for these remote access techniques to their customers so they can essentially come from the same IP address, same browser as the original registration happened, making it even more difficult for banks and the like to discover these fraudulent transactions. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.